starting a YouTube channel but don't know where to start? Well, today I will be sharing beginner steps to starting a channel and some tips to help grow your channel. So before we start, um, these are the objectives I'll be going over. I'll be talking about equipment that you'll need, editing software, video ideas, thumbnails, monetization, promotions, and tips. So first you're going to need something to film with. So here are photos of popular uh, filming equipment that creators use. So the first picture is a Canon G7X. That is a popular Canon camera for vloggers. The middle camera is the 70 v one That is the camera that I have. For starting, you don't need a camera. You don't have to feel pressure to get a camera. Um, you can use a phone, preferably an iPhone. If you guys um, watch YouTube and it's like during back to school, a lot of people do back to school vlogs or getting ready for like college, getting ready for high school. Next, you're going to need an editing software. I use the VN editor, and not too many people know about that, but it's very underrated and I like it better than CapCut. I don't think it's a beginner software. I don't really like it. It's like there's not much tools that you can use to like properly or like edit in a advanced way. I normally use CapCut for my Instagram reels. I do want to use Final Cut Pro, but it's a little bit pricey, it's like three hundred dollars for that. But it's more advanced, and there's a lot of tools that you can use for thumbnails. You want your thumbnail to stand out. It's basically your first impression. When people are scrolling on YouTube and they're recommended, your thumbnail is gonna pop up. So if it stands out and it's like you have clear pictures and it's colors, they're gonna wanna press it. But if you have low quality pictures and it's too many pictures or it's just all over the place, they're not gonna wanna click it. Up here is the Pixar app. I use this for the templates. Fonto is for fonts, so there's many different fonts on there that you can use. It's how you make money on YouTube. So if you decided to take your YouTube series and you want to get paid, YouTube requires the creators to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours, meaning how long your subscribers are watching their videos. Social media is the number one tool for promoting. So Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube Shorts, and Twitter. For me, when I promote, I promote on Instagram more than anything else. Um, when I'm going to drop a video, I usually make like a template of like a, a laptop screen and I put the thumbnail on the laptop screen to make it look like if a subscriber was watching my video. And I'll usually put a link and say, um, my new video was dropping tonight or a new video was upcoming and just make it look like fun so they would want to click the link. So at the end of the day, you are your number one promoter. Promote your channel because it will, it will get out. Once you keep promoting it and people start seeing that you're taking it serious and you're putting effort in People will watch your channel, they will subscribe. And here are some quick tips before I conclude, is to be yourself, show your subscribers your true self so that they can connect with you more. Focus on the your content quality. Take your time with your videos and your channel will grow. Create a business email. So when you upload a video, put your business email in the description because small brands or any brand in general or company will reach out to you if they want you to um, be an ambassador for a wig brand, they want you to promote a clothing brand, they want to give you a paid promotion. So as I just walk through all of the steps, I hope this helps you and gives you motivation to start your YouTube channel. I know I want to use Final Cut, but $300 is crazy. Hey guys, so updates. It is 2 p.m. I am currently in our on-campus art museum, or art exhibit. I've never actually been in here, and I should have because I'm a fashion major. They're doing a styling competition.
guys so we went through how many was it one two three uh, it was either five or six stylists the judges are figuring out who the winners are i wish y'all could hear because <laughs> like y'all could not hear because they wanted the judges near the front and they were telling every move, everybody else to move back so y'all could barely hear the outfits are supposed to represent the picture that is next to the mannequin so you'll see in the montage when i put the the mannequins next to the picture it's supposed to represent and tell a story but i wish you guys could have heard what they were explaining because some of it was really good but you couldn't hear so i'm sorry what's up y'all we at clark clark museum make sure y'all tune in like and subscribe you know yeah Dallas are in the cafe and they got some nachos. And we glad we got our sour cream. No, they didn't have sour cream by the the station here. They had a potato station, and we just looked and it was sour cream. You didn't see how fast we like, bro. I was about to be so mad because you're gonna eat dry taco. <laughs> then I got a brownie and then I got uh, raspberry lemonade and you got coke mm -hmm. and fries. So yeah, we finna eat good. But I'm gonna see y'all either tomorrow or later today. So bye. Look at me, where she wanna be Call me Freaky T on the leash I feel like a dog, I get her the flea Keep it pee, never needed you But you needed me I got cream, make a pretty clean Boost your self-esteem I, I get tucked in the road So I feel like baby king Boss is black, it's the boss right here So I dress like baby D But I'm cold, pussy ass I know you know what's giving clean Do not mind my edges My edges is always looking crazy every time but it is currently 11.08. My mom loves baking and like making food. So um, there's this company called Pamper Chef and they sell like um, baking utensils and like stuff to cook with. But they also have like recipes to cook. My mom's been making this since I was like, I don't even know, when I was little. It's called a cool veggie pizza, but we've been calling it cold pizza. So you take a Pillsbury crescent roll put on a sheet mix together the ingredients that i put on the screen before Let's top it off with vegetables so i'm gonna use tomatoes uh the carrots olives cucumbers and mushrooms they have like broccoli it looks like and i don't know if that's zucchini or squash but it's good y'all be probably thinking like what is that you you never tried it so you can't you don't have a word if you didn't try it i finished it guys so this is what it looks like It tastes just the way my mom makes it at home. It's good. Oh, she got a fit on. She got the fit on too. The fit. Y'all, I have to put y'all on a story time. Me and her are about to go to the cab, so I'm going to tell y'all the story time in the cab because I missed the freaking fashion show and I'm so upset. I got here last minute when they was giving out um, Macy's, Levi's, and American Eagle gave a uh, donation. Well, like they gave us checks for the fashion department. I only got here at that time. I missed the freaking fashion show and I'm so upset. All right, so as y'all can see, I got my hair done, right? I'm in the cast. I'm just so freaking upset right now. The fashion show started at three. The doors open at 2.45, right? And I bought my ticket, it was $10. So I got an appointment made for 12.40 p.m. to get a wash, blow dry, and braid down so I can put my wig on, right? where she's located it's 25 minutes from campus so i drove there got there at 12 40 12 38 got there on time when i got there she was like oh i'm still working on a client i'm almost done so she told me to just sit around so i sit down right she didn't start doing my hair until 125 that's you said 45 minutes it's either 35 or 45 minutes 
And I was like, bro, I did not realize how long I was sitting there. So then she started my hair, and then I didn't get done until it was two something. And then remember, it takes 25 minutes. So going back, it was an accident. It was traffic. Then I had to install the wig. I got there. She told Joy told me that they started already. I was mad. Then it was like almost at capacity. I got there. When I got there, they already everybody already walked. First of all, it was supposed to end at five. It ended at four something. It ended early. And I got there when the brands like it was like Macy's and all of that. They gave us uh, the fashion department like checks. They donated money, but. I'm so mad. Like y'all don't understand. I really want to get the f the fashion show footage, and now I didn't. So I'm sorry that y'all didn't get to see the fashion show. I will definitely make up for it in the future. Tomorrow is the last day of fashion week. There's like an art exhibit, exhibit or exhibition, whatever it is. I'm probably gonna go to that, but I'm just so upset that I missed the fashion show. Like I was literally looking for it, and I paid for no reason. I literally paid ten dollars to sit there for the last. It was literally five minutes I was in there. So I'm upset. finite math at two and i'm currently the first person in the classroom after this class i'm going to get my nails done and my toes done because i need them done severely there's going to be like presentations that i have to present and i have to promote a brand on instagram and i have to take some pictures like next week so i need to look cute and stuff so yeah but for finite math um we do everything on Soft which is a website, I don't know if I told you guys that already. So we have two more tests in this class. We have a exam three, which is the, on the 21st, and then a concept exam, which is on the 28th, I think. It's the next Friday, the week from the 21st. I also wanted to tell you guys about the art exhibit. All of the photos that were on the wall was from one girl. She was the only senior in the art department that was graduating, I think she said. Her name was Leah McCullum, and her art was very fire. Like, all of those pictures that were on the wall was just her artwork, so it was really cool. So if anybody knows Aaliyah McCullum or if she's watching, props to her for her work because it was very fire. And then me and Joy got to talk to two um, women that work for Macy's. One was in uh, Human Resources. Yeah, she said Human Resources with Diversity and Inclusion, I think. And I forgot the other one, I'm sorry. But yeah, so we spoke to them. And they were very nice people. So yeah, but I'm going to see y'all later. I'm going to start working on some math assignments. And I'm going to get back to you guys when... I'm getting my nails done because look at this. My nails are atrocious. They're broken. And I can't do it. So bye. Oh, that's not yeah. Cause girls is players too. Uh yeah, yeah. Cause girls is players too. Cause girls is players too. It's getting money all around. Forgot about my toes. So, I got black French on its toes. They're nice and cute. Don't mind if they ashy because I didn't put no lotion on. I hope y'all enjoyed this fashion vlog. Um, this is the end of fashion week, so the video is sadly gonna end here. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, if you're new to my channel, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And if this is your first time watching my fashion series, make sure you go tune into the first one. This is the second episode. But yeah, so there's going to be more college content and more fashion content coming up. Because the semester is going to end soon. So y'all need to tune in. But yeah, so I'm going to let y'all go. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Deja Monet is out.